Hey, how's it going guys? It's Crystal Joel here, back on another video, and today we're going to be watching Breaking Out of the Friend Zone, featuring Jaden animations by The Amazing. Now, The Amazing makes absolutely hilarious videos. Uh, I've seen the one about where he ripped his pants. It was absolutely amazing. He does, like, the best funny facial expressions in his videos. So, we're going to be reacting to Breaking Out of the Friend Zone. Now, I actually have seen the first video, but if you want, if you guys want to go see the first video, go check it out in the description down below, and this video will be in the description down below, just to, con just to, um, I don't know, uh, what you would call it, to, uh, suggest it, or whatever, credit, credit him, there we go, that's what I was looking for, credit. I need to credit him for all the work he has done, since I'll be reacting to it today. So, let's get on with this video. Hi, my name is Maz, and before Hi, we start, Maz. I just want to let you know that this is a continuation from this video. I told you, I that is the video that I'm going to link in the, in the description down below. Up for this next saga. Now, without further ado, Maz, I'm breaking up with you. James, James, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's sorry. <laughs> Yeah, people joke around and say that he likes James, so he just goes with it. You okay, babe? All right, so here's a quick recap. See what I mean? It's hilarious. Queen asked me, the loser friend zoned Maz, to watch a movie with her alone. Oh, Maz. Dwayne Johnson that I was living under, but at the time, I thought that she was trying to, you know, make the moves or a. Secretly confess to a hunk like me. And no, no, she wasn't. No, 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 not the belt. Oh, oh, it's crazy because there she's doing not the belt. I for her words like it was some ancient hieroglyphics. Well, she was actually just like, Wow, I can't wait to see Twilight New Moon with my best buddy, old pal. Twilight, really? Twilight, yeah, Twilight. Watch freaking. Twilight, and I thought it was a genuine show of her love for me. And don't get your hopes up about what happened. There's no spice, there's no baseball, there's no tea, sis. Let me guess, oh, it's nothing brother, interesting. This guy stinks! After this, everything was more or less the same level of one side. Okay, crunch. hold up. My sister used to watch Twilight all the freaking time. That's why I can relate to this. Ugh, I just didn't I just did not get why she loved it so much. So I, I got I know how you feel Maz I know exactly how you feel until we reach grade 10 in a previous video I mentioned that nothing happened during visual arts and well, that's not exactly true I have not seen I that one. I might have to go check her, it out And it was around this time that my feelings for cherry peaked so I was like oh. trying to spend as much time oh, with her as possible during classes, at lunch, before TikTok, school, watching really? her home, watching her sleep, oh. <laughs> you know, the usual stuff. No! <laughs> yup! Yeah, and finally, yep. ladies and gentlemen, we got him. After three years of <laughs> That's exactly school, what I was, was thinking. finally ready to get in a relationship. And in my head, since she had been with the other boys, who else was left other than the brown prince? I mean, <laughs> what could go wrong? <clears throat> I've had a lot of good times with all of you guys, and it's been really difficult for me to decide who Don't tell me, to, it's plushies. I think I've made up my mind. It's plushies. I want to give this final rose to... Oh, no, Cherry, it's okay. I'd like to gracefully it's accept plushies. the final rose in... J-Dog. All right. <laughs> really? You know the way, Mickey Mouse? I it was my turn. I mean, look, she did go from one good-looking white dude to another muscular good-looking white dude, sure. But like, why mess with vanilla when you've got chocolate right here? <laughs> Isn't that right? Kill yourself. Okay, now the biggest difference between this relationship with J-Dog and the others was that she was falling hard. So much so that she began to alienate all of her other friends and spend as much time with him. And that is messed up. Not take that well. And I legitimately confronted her about this. Which oh, Jesus. 
I couldn't believe that she was not only ditching all of her friends behind, but also spending all of her time with him, thinking about him in class, drawing little cutesy love notes and stuff. Like, come on, Cherry. Come on, bro. I can do that. It's against the law. Yes, she dude. Having uh, that's Cherry exactly that what you do. Time however she wanted. And if she wanted to hang out with J-Dog and not me, then that's that. And oh, man, I was so not okay with that. Gosh, I actually... I didn't remember how because I was like so freaking annoyed by her doing this that whenever I passed by her at lunch I used to sing the song somebody that I used to know by what wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I know that song I didn't sing it out loud I didn't like I didn't just belt it out I just kind of <laughs> whispered it I, I can't how could you whisper it with that. headphones on next level beta bro i was next level beta like we have an alpha male we have a beta male and then you have an omega male okay that was <laughs> that was me and guys this thing went on for six months i was wow this song for six months how do you not get the old how does that not get old to you who was that i don't know probably some loser wow <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Why? Wow. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let me be serious for a sec. As much as I'm memeing about how desperate and how much of an Omega male I was, I think it's important to recognize that most of us in this situation aren't inherently bad people. I'm sure that those in Cherry's position who have, like, you know, affection thrown at them, don't just shut oh. them down like, I will string you along to suck away your emotions. Oh, jeez. No, like, of course not. They just want everything to kind of stay the same, you know? And similarly, majority of people in my shoes don't actually despise them for friends zoning we're just a little lonely you know <laughs> mm. so at the end of the day i always had cherry's back even if we weren't on the best of terms at that specific moment Aww. so when cherry and j-dog broke up in a horrible Ooh. way i knew that she was genuinely heartbroken and when i saw that all of my middle school anger the stupid logic and the petty feelings disappeared i had to help my friend yeah. I cheer up as much as possible. And there you go, Maz. Ooh. She got better. We started talking more and more. What the heck? Sure enough, we built up our friendship again. And you know what I noticed? That I was completely and utterly okay with being friends. Great friend for you, Maz. created for myself was finally over. Because, <laughs> well, this may actually sound real sad, but... I'd finally accepted that a relationship between us just wasn't going to happen. Wow, that really was kind of sad to say. I'm really not helping out my Omega male image, am I? <laughs> but I'd also be lying if I said that I wasn't at least a little bit curious about what happened. I mean, like, look at me. How could she uh, not fall for this? Wow. <laughs> and with me finally being a <laughs> He looks I like Robbie from, like, Jesse. So I kind of just, like, low-key asked her about why she dated the guys in our squad specifically. Oh, that's easy. It's because I'm really into white dudes. Oh. But I'm literally as white as you can be. It all made sense now. I was being oh my god. along. I had somehow deluded myself into thinking that she was like going in turns within the squad, dating the boys, when it was actually just her dating good looking white men. <laughs> that is messed up. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Michael Jackson, please. Teach oh me god. Please. <laughs> no! I'm actually Death sort of glad that no! I'm like, this. like, okay, sure, I was devastated when Cherry said that she was into white boys, but I think I'd already moved on by then. She didn't owe me anything, and I definitely should have been a good friend to her without the ulterior <clears throat> motive to date her. It's really? It's crazy because I called her up after like five years to ask for permission to make the story. But during the call, I said something along the lines of, hey, you know how I really liked you during middle school? Wait, you were into me in middle school? What? <clears throat> so apparently, I somehow hid my feelings for Cherry so well that she didn't even know that I was into her. Wow. What? You did I... that to yourself, Mas! Please kill me. Mm. 
Y'all hear something? All right, but seriously, I am so freaking glad that nothing happened back then because whilst my hormones were chanting, ah, slay her, my logical side was like, be gone, thought. I also had <laughs> no follow up plan after that. Be gone, if thought. In movie night, she would have turned, wrapped her arms around me, looked me dead in the eyes, and said, oh my gosh, I can't take it anymore. I love you. I would have been like, oh, Wait, you're what? done for. Oh, wow, what is that? Silence, mortal. <laughs> the enormous eggplant <laughs> energy courses through me. I have now leveled up to beta male. No, of course not. That's not how it would have happened. I would have been like, I oh, wish it would have been like okay. that. You want to play Minecraft? I would have been a terrible boyfriend. Cherry, ch cherry. You totally dodged the bullet there. <laughs> and to think that I actually cared so much about this. Nowadays, it's just a good memory. And we were both able to have a good laugh about it over the phone. That's I nice. I go back in time just to meet middle school moms and be like, Hey, stop being such a terrible human being and just confess, you freaking idiot. And oh. Respect oh. <laughs> Please do not assault children. Frick. <laughs> if you are in a oh wow school, boys all, we got think of it from the other person's point of view and secondly i think confession is just so much easier to deal with if you confess and they accept your feelings then great and if they don't then you can just move on focus on other things and save a bunch of time unlike me who spent like three years moping around trying to bleach my skin make the most of everything martians Life is way too short to be hung up on whether your crush will like you back or not. I hope that you guys can glean something from my own experience. Wait, what's that? Develop the courage to confess. It'll be hard, yeah. But it should be worth it. Oh, Maz, watch your back! Cherry is genuinely one of the sweetest people I've ever met. That's it for this video, you guys. If you guys want to bail out Maz, make sure to leave a like, and that will bail him out because he needs 1,000 likes. Um. That's probably going to be a while, so uh, good luck with that, Moz. Uh, yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!